Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. Getting a two for today. It's been a while since we did one of those, and we're doing it a little differently too. It's another review today. I decided to do another tincture review this afternoon. Um, we're kind of overrun, overbooked with tinctures here, as you might know. We just got that shipment from late for work I don't know, a while ago, but we just opened it yesterday, maybe the day before? I forget. Yeah, maybe the day before. And we have two series, two separate tincture series in that parcel. So we have the Harry Potter series, which we reviewed one of already, but we also have the Nightmare Before Christmas series. So Jason actually requested that I review this particular tincture next. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas Sally tincture. Do the hand focus. No? There we go. There's the label. Really cool label. I really like this label. Um, well, I like all, really like all of the Late for Work labels. They, they do a really good job. Really well thought out, well put together products. So this is Sally. Sally is a character from Nightmare Before Christmas. She is a humanoid rag doll created by Dr. Finkelstein. And just so you know, right off the bat, I am not claiming to be an expert on these movies. I haven't seen this in a long time, and I actually had to do some searching on the internet to find this stuff out. This is not uh, information from my memory. It could even be wrong. <laughs> but anyways, Sally was a humanoid ragdoll created by Dr. Finkelstein. She's in love with Jack Skellington, but has trouble showing it. Uh, she's also known as Dollface by Oogie Boogie. Dearest Friend by Jack, and also known as the Pumpkin Queen and Sally Skellington. So, this Sally tincture is um, listed on the LateForWorkYouTube.com website as a mild to medium heat tincture. Uh, they put Ahi Lemon Drop Peppers in here for heat, which is between 15 and 30,000 Scoville heat units, uh, roughly equivalent to that of a cayenne pepper. So not super hot, like literally not super hot and not overly hot either. It's also flavored with pink starburst, the candies I can only assume. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's give this our video demonstrative purposes shaky shake. And I haven't even shown it to you yet, actually. I showed you the label. It is kind of a cherry red, sort of brownish tincture. So you can see it there, it's kind of, yeah, golden, kind of cherry red. More golden brown than cherry, I guess. Maybe it's the bottle that's making me think cherry red. But, um, actually it was funny because I've been laughing as people call it, um, pink strawberry tincture. That's what I've heard a few people call it. But it, then I actually looked it up. It was, uh, Nurse Justin from the capsaicin clinic that said well, what flavor is pink starburst and i said i don't know so i looked it up and like last night before getting my notes together and it is strawberry so they're not wrong <laughs> i was silly for laughing and that's okay uh so let's open this up and actually first i'll show you the clarity of it oh well, you can't really see it too well in there the label kind of darkens it and i'm not really sure yeah it's kind of a well, actually beautifully light colored tincture See if we can grab a little bit more than that. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Let's give this a try. I'm stoked to try this out. I haven't had pink Starburst candies in years, so... Maybe not years, maybe. Maybe months. <laughs> maybe a year. Let's give this a try. From the Nightmare Before Christmas tincture lineup from Late for Work, this is Sally Pink Starburst Flavored Tincture. Keep my shorts. Wow. I'm definitely getting the strawberry in that. And I want to say that it tastes like Starburst. That's really good. That's really, really good. Hmm. That's delicious. Heat level on that. Hmm. Probably a 3 out of 10, I think, on my heat scale. Your 
habanero hothead. Average. Beginner chili head, we'll call that average. Um, might call this a 5 or 6 out of 10, taking a, bit, a full squeeze like that. If you're new, you're eating jalapenos only, well that'll be like a 7 or an 8 probably for you. 9 or a 10 maybe. Tinctures are hot. If you're at jalapeno level, don't jump straight to tincture. So explore your hot sauces first. Unless you really want to get to the top fast. <laughs> but uh, flavor rating. Hmm. The flavor's delicious. I tasted pepper. It wasn't unpleasant pepper. It was very mild, delicious pepper. And strawberry, like, yeah, candy strawberry flavor. My mouth is watering so much because that's so good. Mm. I, I, I can't think of anything less, anything other than a 10 out of 10 for this one as well. And I'm not just saying that because because Jason's my good friend because he's been such a good support for me. This stuff is delicious. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. Um, yeah, mild to medium. Maybe medium. Maybe medium. Um, definitely had some more mellow tinctures from late for work than this. But yeah, mild to medium, maybe on the, on the medium end. I would recommend it. If you like pink starburst candies, if you like strawberry candy and pepper tincture, definitely. Would I restock this? Definitely. This is delicious. I'm even going to go in for another squeeze. Which I actually did on the, what was it called now, Ravenclaw review as well. We did another, a full Robbie in our coffee and that was delicious. I'm just going to do another squeeze here. Yeah, that's delicious. That's spicy candy, that's what that is. LateForWorkYouTube.com Get this stuff before it's sold out. That's why I'm reviewing this stuff fast. I have a tendency to review things when they're already sold out. Not so that goes to tell you. They don't need me pushing sales. They're selling themselves. But it's nice if you can get an idea for what they are before they're sold out. While they're still in stock. As much as you might re enjoy these reviews, you might not. Hopefully you do. I sure enjoy making these videos. It's nice to feel like I contribute something to the world every day again, now that I'm doing these videos again every day. My mouth is really watering actually. The heat has climbed I would say. Did I give it a 2 before? I don't remember. I'm gonna give this heat rating. Correct my heat rating. Hmm. I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 10. I don't remember what I gave it before to be honest with you. 4 out of 10 on my heat scale. So 4 for me. Habanero. Six or seven, jalapeno, eight or nine. Yeah, still obviously recommend and restock. <laughs> um, this is really good. It's actually got me sweating a little bit. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. A little bit. Now let's have a seat with Maggie, who as you can... Just knocked my guitar over. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> whoopsie daisy, I put it there because I wanted to show it to you. Um, as you can see, Maggie has taken the whole couch. <laughs> but that's okay. It is kind of her couch. Yeah, I want to show you that guitar. That's the one I restickered. Um, that's actually the first time I've ever knocked it over. Or any of my guitars, I think. Whoops. <laughs> it's actually a very cheap entry-level acoustic guitar. It's like pretty much the cheapest one I could find because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get into acoustic yet or not and uh, I still haven't really got into it but I really do enjoy it. But it's a Denver guitar and it was like $150 like brand new so that's that's pretty good. Pretty cheap. I'll show it to you actually. Had a little quick little hangout there with Maggie. I don't think we did any damage to it. It just kind of fell like just to, just over a foot. So here it is. It's a Denver guitar. Here was what I've done to the headstock. Instead of Denver, it says Pepper now. And I kind of purposely did it messy just to make it obvious that I did that to it. And then we got our late for work. 
ghost pepper sticker. And all of these, a whole bunch of stickers. Some of my favorite hot sauce companies, spice companies, and things like that. And then, let's see, over here we've got another Heat My Shorts sticker and a Heiko's Hot Sauce. Here we've got Pepper North and Solo Foods. And I think that's all of them. But yeah, quite a few. That's Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla's dog, Duke. Um, it's hard to see. Sergeant Dunn's Beef Jerky, Sons of Fire, Pepper North. Um, what did they call their hot honey? Straight Jacket, Maritime Madness, Pucker Butt, Goot Juice. Um, what is this one called? Seven Siblings? I'm not familiar with that, but I like the sticker, be honest with you. Pepper North Totality, Late for Work, Lucifer's House of Heat, Old Agnes Store, another Heat My Shorts, Pepper North, Reaper Madness, um, Late for Work Autism Awareness, Tao's Hum, I think that's all of them. Yeah. So got it stickered right up, just for fun. I think it looks fun this way. I don't know. It's kind of like a camping guitar. I figure it's time to put some stickers on it. And now we're just throwing it around, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. Um, oh well, it happened on camera. That's funny. Didn't damage anything, it's probably out of tune now. Uh, and that's why I'm not gonna play it. Not because I'm out of practice, it's because it's out of tune. And I don't have a tuner. Ha! <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I don't wanna drag this one out too long. Just approaching 12 minutes now. Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally, pink starburst tincture from Late for Work. Highly recommend this stuff. This is really good. I almost want to do another squeeze of it, but let's just wrap this video up and I can do a squeeze of tincture off camera. Um, nothing else to talk about here. LateforWorkYouTube.com. Make sure you check it out. Buy some excellent products. Hot sauces, tinctures, spices, all sorts of good stuff. Um, yeah, wrap the video up here. In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, Late for Work. Hit up their channel. Subscribe to them. They're getting very close to a thousand. That's really exciting. They deserve way more than a thousand, but let's get them to a thousand. Up here, some playlists for you to enjoy. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. This will be the last one of the day. You're not getting a three for today. I'm sorry. Two for is pretty good, isn't it? Anyways, we'll hang out again soon. I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. I love you all. Bye-bye.